Good afternoon, everyone, and how's everyone doing today? Let's be quiet and try our best not to wake Diego. He's still sleeping if you didn't already know. This is a common thing for Diego to do in his free time. Now let's use our dream analyzer to see what he's dreaming about. In Diego's dreamland, we can see about his friends and family, his hobbies and interests, and most importantly, his goals for the future. Diego first learned how to sleep when he was born on October 20, 2002 in Omaha, Nebraska. Throughout these 18 years, his favorite place to get some shut-eye has been his hometown of Council Bluffs, Iowa. His friends and family are careful not to wake him. Well, most of the time. Blanca is Diego's mom. She runs a house. She's careful not to wake him. Well, sometimes. Sometimes she'll wake him up without any reasoning. She's his number one world model and number one supporter. Esteban is Diego's stepdad. He's known to fall asleep around the house with ease. This is perhaps one of the people who have influenced Diego's sleeping habits the most. Maria is Diego's grandmother. She will, she's the only one who will let Diego sleep undisturbed, and she also is of someone Diego holds highest in his heart. Abriana is Diego's little sister. She won't hesitate to wake him up, even if it's just to show him a YouTube video that she thought was cool. He thinks she's a brat, but he loves her unconditionally anyways. As Diego ventures, oh, a big, in Diego's dreamland, we are able to see who he live in a huge mansion with. Some of his best friends, Andreas, Rolando, Daniel, Freddy, and Jordan. As we venture further and further into a deep sleep, we are able to examine his hobbies and interests. Diego loves to work. When he's not in a deep slumber at school or at home, he's actively dishing out the best customer service and acting as a most go-to part-time employee at Hy-Vee. You can count on Diego to have a helpful smile in every aisle. Diego also loves listening to music. His favorite music genres stem from jazz to rap to indie to even rock and roll. Some of his favorite artists include Kanye West, Frank Ocean, and even Tyler, the Creator. Diego's not waking up anytime soon. I think it might be fair to say he's in a coma. This sucks, but it means we can look at the most stressful part of his life, his future. Diego's super passionate about politics, especially our country's immigration policies. Diego's main goal is to make his mom and grandma proud and to help families like his own. He's not quite sure where he wants to attend yet, but he does know he wants to study pre-law to, to hopefully one day become an immigration lawyer. Diego is so eager to make a mark in the world that you could even say it's his dream job. As we end up in an irreversible coma, we are truly able to examine what goes on through his head while he sleeps, from dreaming of his family and to being fortunate to have some <coughs> cool friends to spending his non slumbering hours involved in his other hobbies and interests, and for anticipating the days where his dreams become a reality. It is my privilege to introduce you to Diego. And even though he may wish he was still snug in bed in REM, Eleanor Roosevelt once said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And to one of, one of Abraham Lincoln's most committed sleepers, dream on, Diego, dream on. <laughs>